can't wait. Maybe we'll even do it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. She, is she vlogging about We events? gotta go back real quick. There's a sign right here that says, Welcome Influencer. <laughs> <laughs> Influencer. Welcome, Influencer. <laughs> like, come oh. on. Hello. What? <laughs> I'm by myself what? in here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Guys, we haven't done a, like any kind of Smosh React content in a while. And I think this specific topic is the, kind of the perfect one to bring it back. I agree. I'm here with uh, Collective Watermelon here. Uh, and, um, I was like anticipating. That's, <laughs> that's the second time I've roasted Noah as a duo with his hair. It's really funny. Um, I yeah. like that though. Wait, but I'm really excited. So this is actually a really well-known series that we are, we're super inspired by. And also another YouTuber, James Charles, did it. GQ does this thing where they have an expert, like an astronaut, watch a bunch of movies about space and they, they critique it, tell you whether it's accurate or not, or it's just total BS. So today, we are going to be reacting to how YouTubers are portrayed in movies. Uh -huh. We're gonna be watching a bunch of clips from different movies. Uh, we've got Smosh the Movie, Wreck-It Ralph, and a little something with Shane Dawson's creative stuff, and, and some other things. Um, yeah. really, I'm really excited. <laughs> Can we get right into yeah, it? Let's just yeah, get right into we it. We can't get right into it before we tell everyone to like and subscribe and click that notification yeah, bell. Yeah. You didn't forget <laughs> that on. we're YouTubers. What? what? Guys, lick and subscribe. Okay, so the first one is going to be Smosh the Movie. You should totally see it. I think it's on Netflix, depending on where you're at. Uh, it's from 2015. It's just a treasure of a movie that Ian and Anthony are in, starring in together. They made this movie, and they they portray YouTubers in it, wouldn't you know? So. Yeah. In it, I believe Anthony's character has a viral video that's posted on the internet. It's very embarrassing. It's him at a high school prom, I think trying to do a flip, and he crashes and just humiliates himself. So Ian and Anthony are playing their characters. Uh, try to go to YouTube and get the uh, video removed. Mm -hmm. Leave YouTube. Pleasure to meet you. Hi. I don't um, touch, I don't touch. Um, I'm Ian uh -huh. and this is... Uh, Backflip microphone guy, dude. That is one of my... Oh yeah, does the <laughs> microphone go in his butt? That's what happens, he does a backflip and it like goes in his butt, Does I think. it? That sounds like 2015 YouTube, yeah. yeah. Videos. What, what, what can I do for you guys? I need that... Thing. Awesome video. Yeah. I need that thing that you mentioned. Oh, 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 the video. Hilarious, right? Hilarious. Shut up. <laughs> they, said, they said the thing. They said they the smosh thing. They, they did. They said shut up. Oh my god, shut they said it. Up. I need that video removed from your website, please. Ah, yes, yeah. I gotta be honest with you guys. This, th this kind of thing happens more than you would imagine. Not, not the microphone thing, but the embarrassment thing. And here's the problem. Once a video is uploaded to the internet, it's there forever. Unless you're a brand or it contains copyrighted music, then immediately <laughs> it will be taken down or you can take See, that's, off it. that's where Anthony's mistake yes. was. Mm -hmm. He should have been singing copyrighted music. Yes. Yeah. It would have been taken down before mm -hmm. he even could post it. Completely. Completely. Smash Mouth, yeah. anything would have, would have helped. Yeah, I would say a plot hole with this movie is that the issue... <laughs> The issue isn't that it's like getting it deleted from YouTube, it's that once it's on YouTube, it's then everywhere else. Yeah. And that's where you can't get it deleted. Yeah, digging mm -hmm. all the deep places. Getting it removed Reddit, from YouTube, probably Twitter, easy. TikTok, yeah. it's everywhere. Best bet is to actually go into YouTube itself and change the video from the inside. That's the plot of the movie. Oh, you have to go into YouTube. So I. I joined Smosh in 2015, and this movie premiered like two weeks after I joined, mm -hmm. and I went to the premiere, and so this was all new to me. I knew nothing about YouTube. I was very fresh to it. So I, this was essentially me going, yeah, I'm guessing this is how it works. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Smosh the movie was my rubric for how this job would be. Oh yeah. And uh, it's basically true. Uh, I remember thinking like, whoa, uh, what is that? Michael Ian Black, right? Is that yeah. what it is? Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember thinking like, wow, they actually got a, really impressive actor. And I had never even met a YouTuber before, and I remember going to that premiere and they were all there, and like Jenna Marbles was yeah, sitting Jenna in Marbles front of me there. in the theater, and I was like, this is crazy. I know, I'm dude. I'm new to this, I this think is nuts. The next clip involves a Miss Jenna Marbles. Oh my gosh, so. <laughs> what? Listen, you're a guy, and you're wearing eyeliner, not like Halloween eyeliner or anything like that, like all day, every day eyeliner. I got news for you, it's hot. I like that, keep doing what you're doing. What the hell, man? <laughs> 
Um, I'm surprised because this is, I mean, I'm probably gatekeeping a little bit here, but that is not at all really how, I mean, Jenna Marbles wasn't in a place like this when she was making her videos at the time. She was like in her bed usually. It was much more like comfy, cozy vibes. Yeah, I feel like this is not Jenna's vibe. No, she's in a blazer. Jenna Marbles never wears a blazer. <laughs> <laughs> Deary, damn it. Jenna, I'm really sorry, okay? Just forget we were ever here. We'll just be on our way. Hold on. Jenna, it's me, Big Rod 91. I've commented on a bunch of your videos. Oh yeah, I know exactly who you are. You kidding me? I, I don't know about you all, but like I know a couple of my followers, but I would never be able to know someone by their like screen name, especially yeah, in a YouTube comment. I think she's saying she's being sarcastic yeah. there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um mm -hmm. but I do appreciate Ian's character having yeah. Big Rod 91. I will say it is, th yes. That's, yes. That's that's some classic Ian right there. But what yeah. is accurate is something that when, we, when we're at meetups, people will sometimes ask if we remember their username on Twitter. Like, I follow you on this, I'm, or I'm in the Twitch chat, this is our username. And we're like, oh cool. Sometimes we usually mostly don't remember it, but it's always great to hear that you're watching. Yeah, usernames are hard to memorize. Um, I, I promise I will at some point go to the comment section and memorize all of them. Yeah. Haven't yeah. gotten to We're it We're working yet. on it. We got the Haven't flash cards. I don't know about you, but I never make sarcastic remarks when I meet fans in person. Or it can, actually, person. that is that is an accurate, accurate <laughs> thing to say, because sometimes sarcasm can like make somebody nervous or like mm. uncertain sure if you're being serious or I, not. I gotta be honest, you're, that's actually a good point. Whenever I've been sarcastic or try to just like be joke, like joke-like, it often does not hit, yeah. and fans will be like, like, what? what? Yeah. Like, no, 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 I'm just kidding. Like, yeah. it's it's great to meet you. Like, uh, yeah. you know. Uh, this next movie, Ralph Breaks the Internet from 2018. Basically, he goes into the internet with Vanellope, and they like get to meet a lot of people in the internet, and there's actually a lot to do with like videos going viral and stuff in this. Um, so the scene we're about to watch, Ralph becomes a big viral star, and he walks into the Hall of Comments. Mm -hmm. um, that cannot be a fun place. No. I'll be honest. Hey guys, come and check out my video. You're gonna love it, right? Right, right over here. Yep. Come here we go. Easy. What are you, you guys? Let's see when they go. Oh, a cat? Oh, you're gonna like this better than some dusty old cat. <laughs> what? Give me that hose, partner. You know you love me. Give me those hearts. There we go. If only it were that easy. I, yeah. You know what? I think it is. I think it's accurate in some ways of just like certain content people trying to really push it mm -hmm. and like force it and mm -hmm. trying to get it in front of your face. And also the algorithm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, the algorithm is doing that for some people. Yeah, well, man. <laughs> 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 Go way, way back before the algorithm. It's just like follow for follow everywhere. Like, I would you say, know, yeah. Tumblr going to, to Vine, like similar vibes going on. Mm -hmm. That's what I was realizing this, and... YouTube's homepage back in like 2008, or 2008 to 2011 was similar to TikTok's For You page. Mm -hmm. It used to be a little bit more of a free for all, but now it's very much structured, which you know what, like there's, Pluses and minuses to that. You can't like fault YouTube for that always. I get it why they mm -hmm. do it, but I also understand the frustration of wanting it to just be like, hey, whatever video is trending should be on the front page. Like, yeah. but it's not always that way. Not and always and I know this is me being a stickler. Obviously, it's like a comedy movie. You know, not every video on the internet is just like a little comedy haha video. I have learned a lot mm -hmm. from YouTube. Like, mm -hmm. surprisingly, which is, I don't know if that's good to admit. Or I would say also, though, as of right now, you know, this is 2018, which means it was all being written and stuff in 2016, 2015. Mm -hmm. YouTube back then was seen as being way more wacky and silly. I yeah. think it's a little different now. Mm -hmm. But back then, it was really this vibe of like, we're YouTubers, go well. That's it. Who's in here? Oh. Comments here. Oh. Right in here. The Hall of Comments. Oof. What the heck is this? The comment section. Oh, is he about to just start crying? <sighs> That'd be pretty normal. <laughs> Ralph is back. Hey, Ralph is back. You're talking there you go. about me. Gee whiz, the internet is so positive. Yeah. Fix it, Felix Jr. was my favorite game. Hmm. Mine too. And they have Ralph dislike Felix buttons on these. Sink. Ooh, yeah, heartbreaking. Ooh. Yeah. So stupid. Ralph is the worst. Oh no! Oh, Turn I, away, Ralph. I hate him. All <gasps> caps. <laughs> so fat and. It's ugly. probably because of his head. <laughs> Just a worthless bum alone on a pile of bricks. Look at that profile pic. You know what? This has been the very accurate. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I will say this is very sweet and Disney-fied, because uh, in real life, I think there'd be a lot of words that you can't show. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Well, alone in, on a pile of bricks is a euphemism. Yeah, but, and the other, the accurate thing is he's reading a couple positive comments and he's happy, and then as soon as you read the negative ones, it's like the positive ones never existed. It's it's true. I will go through the comment section occasionally. I try to avoid it because it's scary. Um, <laughs> scary. But you'll read like a bunch of positive ones. Be like, this is the funniest video. Like, oh my gosh, I laughed so hard. Or, this made my day. And then you come across one that's just like, this sucks. These people ruin Smosh. And I'm just like. Yes. Ah! Oh, no. You found those comments First about you? Yeah, I was typing them earlier. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, I want to hear what she's saying. It's profound. Do not read the comments. Do not read the comments. Do not read the comments. Look. This place can bring out the worst in some people. But you gotta ignore all this. This isn't about you, Ralph. It's about them. I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> you? People hated me. I don't care. <laughs> I, it's just... I don't care. Why would I care? <laughs> it's like, not a big deal. Oh, you had a cookie under that this. shirt. And as long as she likes me, I don't need anybody else. Aww. Yeah. It's true. As long yeah. as you got the people in your life that love you and treat you nice, that's all that matters. Not a couple of comments calling you a weenie. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you read the nice comments and you ignore the bad ones, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Is this Ray? Is that his Ray Romano? That was Wreck It Ralph! That was the Rick attempting Wreck It Ralph. Oh, man, I'm gonna take our new Penelope. Oh, oh boy. God. Okay, this next one mm -hmm. Internet Famous 2016. I heard of it. So, yeah, it's a mockumentary that follows a YouTuber or, or a bunch of YouTubers um, that all have a different brand and are competing to get their own TV show. This will um, be fun because we're all YouTubers and we're also like actors. And mm -hmm. at this table, we've got the person who works the most out of all of us. So, you'll be able to look at a YouTuber attempting to do professional acting or a, acting as a YouTuber wanting to do professional acting. Does that make sense? We're in like a double inception, is what yeah. I'm trying to say. A YouTuber is acting professionally, but he's yeah. acting as a YouTuber who wants to act professionally. And if we're talking about that's that. That's what you do. If You're we're talking actor. about that though, Ian and Anthony's acting performance in Smosh the Movie, oh, pretty yeah. good. They did pretty good. It's definitely above what was expected. Like without a doubt. And obviously, <laughs> I think, no, I think mean, that's not, accurate. What like, like the general up. mainstream I'm just media. Throw that out there. What the mainstream media thinks of YouTubers they and they're when they're finally put to the test, they're like the standards are very low. Yeah. yeah. You could say my career started in high school. You know, I was just hanging out with my boys on a Friday night and a song came on the radio. The lack of furniture in this big ass house is accurate. <laughs> yeah. There's literally trash. A, an e-board oh, and a chair board. with a TV mm -hmm. and a game console. Also, the the makeup that only looks good from one angle and it's not the angle that's being done yeah. right now because you're not doing He's it yourself. He's heavily contoured. Hilo something, and it was called Forget You. And as I'm listening to the song, I was like, wow, this song's pretty chill, but I could probably spruce it up a little bit. You know, and I started throwing out some joke lyrics and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. This could be a parody. I see you driving around town with the cow I love. Sorry, I just gotta really quickly throw out. <laughs> throw out. I love, I love cows, and this is just making me sad. You but do love cows. It's also, is this like Loki Doja Cat? Doja Cat happens no. like a year later, right? No, with the, that, with the, no they're not referencing it, yeah. but I'm just saying she does the cow that's funny, parody yeah. music video. Just throwing Doja that out Cat there. Did do her, that, her cow that happens music like a year after this. Weird parallels. Wasn't enough, and I'm like moo moo and boo hoo too. And that's when little old Tomas Butterman from Ohio became Tomas. The parody boss. <laughs> I'd say my favorite parody I've ever made was probably my Taylor Swift uh, We Are Never Getting Back Together parody. Let's just say I turned it on its friggin' head. We are Heather, Heather, Heather. I mean, I guess they definitely, they nailed the parody vibe. These like, these parody music videos are exactly how Shane Dawson himself would have filmed his back in the day, True. I feel like. Very, just very. This aligned. was 2016. Was he still doing this type of stuff then? I don't think so. I feel like he moved on from this by this point. Yeah, but you know, a movie takes a while to run. Right, right, like right, that. right. There are um, movies are always a little bit behind. Mm -hmm. Her name's Heather. Her name's Heather. 
my name's Heather too. Cause we are Heather, Heather. Is that David Dobrik? No, he's not alive yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the audio is very auto-tuned on the music videos, which uh, is, which is pretty accurate. Yeah, mm -hmm. accurate. I mean, yeah. I guess at this time, Smosh was was very much doing this type of Absolutely. thing. Absolutely, yeah. very um, into and the music still, videos. And oh yeah, not the music video, but yeah, the general parody. Parody stuff, oh yeah. Parody was huge back then. Nowadays, it's kind of like seen as like obnoxious and just you want to yeah. move on. I feel like on. things move so quickly that if you're gonna parody something, it's not large enough in society. Mm -hmm. you know, it's gotta be these very, very big ideas. Also, I just have a really strong connection with my fans, you know, or as I like to call them, the employees. Thanks so much for watching the parody. If you want to help out this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, the sun's up on iTunes. You better go cop that and give this video a thumbs up. Telling your fans to subscribe is the bare minimum of having a connection with your audience. You're actually just asking to have that connection with your audience. Right? When we ask you guys to subscribe, it's because we want to know you're on board, you want to watch our content, you want to connect with us as we do with you, and if you don't, then you just don't subscribe. Comes with a lot of power though, because Whoa. power to be like, hey guys, go jump off a bridge. That Sorry, guy. we really gotta, okay. we all know that that took eight takes. That guy's right? MVP. Oh my God, yeah. yeah. That guy's so MVP. The guy does the e-board spin, which I can do by the way. Comes with a lot of power though, because if I were to be like, hey guys, go jump off a bridge. You know what you'd see? You'd see a lot of bridges with dead bodies under them or right next to them probably. Because technically if they jumped off, it wouldn't go right under, sorry. I get all visual because I'm a director and filmmaker. And there it is. Shane and Dawson cannot have a clip that isn't problematic in some <laughs> form or another. I mean, what he says, it was it was kind of toned up the way he said it, but it is it is true. You have to be aware of your influence when you're in the position like There's that. There's an irony that in 2016, Shane Dawson was playing a version of himself as an antagonist, problematic person that he would then four years later get canceled for actually being. Uh -huh. Oh God. And, and obviously. Being the whole time. Yeah, the bread. He he had been this for uh, yeah, like what a confusing six role. Six years by that point, mm -hmm. at least. Just general note, because this is the note that I would get if I submitted my script. This is a whole movie, but it's like a, that's what the character is. Is like that last quip, and I just feel like the last two and a half minutes weren't necessarily highlighting what the character could Interesting. be. Interesting. Obviously, that's the entire thing, because that last line—that's the whole reason yeah. for this entire scene, for yeah. that even character to exist. It's very he would wishy -washy. Jump off a bridge and then visualize it and explain how they would be next to it. You're yeah. obviously a dickhead. <laughs> it's funny. So this next one, I, I a while back actually tweeted asking you guys for movie ideas for this, because I wasn't sure if there was a ton where YouTubers were portrayed in a way that we could like watch, um, but you guys suggested DeadCon from 2019. So that's very, that's very recent. recent. It's recent. It's based on an actual con called ViewCon. In this movie, it takes place at ViewCon, which is a- Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, it's, but that's based off VidCon. Yeah, that's the actual convention in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. right. There's, right. There's several layer of cons. Yeah. yeah. So, no. So <laughs> the, several layers of cons. This movie is about a video convention, but it's called ViewCon, and it, there's apparently this vengeful spirit did I say that right? Vengeful Which spirit? Which is accurate. I mean, we haven't proven that there isn't one at VidCon. <laughs> yes. We don't know what possesses the girls that run screaming after people with flipped Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's day one of VueCon, and yeah. this YouTuber that we're about to see is vlogging. Uh-oh. Oh, that's super normal, though. That's like, at normal. At VidCon, yeah. usually the people that are there also are yeah. producing content. Yes. Yeah, so if you haven't seen DeadCon, it's about some YouTubers and Instagram stars who are trying to figure out the mystery behind this vengeful spirit right. at VueCon. Yeah. Oh, look at all those people. Uh-oh, oh. VueCon did. Day one now. Yeah. They're on an iPhone. Oh, this very seems, I think is, they probably filmed this at, at VidCon. VidCon. So this is definitely VidCon footage. It's yeah. obviously the Anaheim Convention Center yeah. at the outside. Don't know what part What's of it. What's up, VidCon? It's your yeah. girl, AK Ashley, and I have arrived. I'm with my squad for the weekend. Say, what's up, Kara? Pause me really quick to say this is totally normal. Everyone who's there who's like hosting anything or is a part of a panel, you're always going through some sort of back rooms. Usually mm -hmm. not like stairwells and usually not with like wet cement. But it's normally where like the the food workers prep stuff, yeah, it's you know, like the freight garbage elevators. people go, freight elevator, yeah. So you are always walking in a bag room. Yeah, I, I feel like though, people rarely like vlog and vlog their whole team. while they're doing it. Yeah, they're like, this is my security yeah. guard yeah, it's here. Usually this the, the part of me space. thinks that it's a, a lot of those people accurate. like want to like avoid the camera. Mm. For the weekend, but we are here, so don't mess with us because this is the squad you want to watch out for. Okay. Speaking of watching out, there would not be fans in this. Well, yeah. no, they're they're exiting but I don't feel like fans would ever be in a location yeah, like this. Yeah, it still looks yeah. like a deep tunnel. It looks like it would still be where you'd potentially be like safe as a creator. Yeah. But there's no there's no dividers, there's nothing like that. There's never a situation where you're actually fully surrounded by 
people just because it's unsafe for them. Mm -hmm. Like past your safety, they're really out there also like, these are minors, these are children, people who paid to be here. We cannot have them be trampled. I should point out, if you're ever at VidCon and we're on the floor and we walk past and we're not stopping to get a photo or something, it's because they are telling us we're not allowed to stop. Mm -hmm. Because if you stop, you create, you might create a crowd and that's a fire yeah. hazard, whatever. So we are legally supposed to keep going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whenever this video goes up. It just one security guard, so isn't it? That's not no, no, but this one knows kung fu. <laughs> Normally, they don't know kung fu. Says, so see us there. Can't wait. Maybe we'll even get. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is she is she vlogging about? We events? gotta go back real quick. There's a sign right here that says, "Welcome influencer." <laughs> <laughs> Influencer. Welcome, influencer. Like, come <laughs> um, on. Just go sports. Who goes to VidCon with no goal of seeing anyone? Uh, They're just like, so, somebody. I just want to see somebody. I want to point out, she said this video will be up at 11 a.m. So I don't know what time it is. Like, she says 11 a.m. today, it'll be yeah. up. Yeah. Wow. So, like, I think, I can't tell if it's like she's live streaming or something. Hold on. No, because AK Ashley, peace out. And then it's, it's like that, that she uploaded 20 it. 20 million wow. views immediately. And just going up, just nonstop. Yeah. <laughs> oh I, I gotta admit, I've seen, no matter how big of a YouTuber they are, none of their VidCon vlogs ever do well. Mm -hmm. Like, they just don't no. do well. No one's getting 40, tw 2019, no one's getting 40 million views except for like a couple, and it's not from their VidCon, like, no. hey guys, I'm here on the floor, check it out. And it's I like 50 it's, million views. It has to yeah. be an insane video or a Vivo music video. Yeah, also it's funny because like in movies and everything, we always want to show a ticker just like counting up like Yeah. That's not how it works. It's really like, oh, 3,000, whoa, 80,000, yeah. whoa, 250,000. Like it's not, yeah. it goes like that. Uh, what I think is accurate about it though is it's not like some glamorous crazy thing. Like she's in a back lot, like going through like just like tunnels and stuff. It's mm -hmm. not glamorous. Mm -hmm. It's not like, I'd say the most glamorous part of VidCon is the floor, the part yeah. that you would go see. Once again, so small, I'm just going to be that guy. You know, it's a movie, so they're not going to do it a vlog you would have cut a bunch. You wouldn't have showed us just straight up you walking. Right, right? you wouldn't just have one continuous full. shot. You would have cut a little bit. Exactly. Your sentence. Exactly. But I'd say accurate. Yeah. Accurate. Her vlogging is accurate. The welcome influencers is amazing. The welcome influencer. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> welcome influencer. Uh, can you guys, if, if ever, any of you, VidCon, the next time that we're there, I don't know if it'll be this year, next year, can you guys make signs that say welcome influencer mm -hmm. yeah, for us? Because that you. is hilarious. Yeah, and, and go anywhere you can. And you can, anyone will think it's for them. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Anyone. I think what's funny is that, I don't know, it, it, it just always comes down to like, they portray YouTubers as being the exact same on camera and off camera, yeah. which is that's not true. true. And it's it, they always harp on the like, like and subscribe. Like, that's the entire thing. Like, that's mm -hmm. all it's about. Um, and then I would also say, like, they do hype up. Everything I've ever seen about YouTubers or influencers hypes it up like it's it's the same they do to actors. It's just like, it's this crazy mm -hmm. life. And it couldn't be the, it's the most lame job <laughs> in actuality. Like, if you think about it, what YouTubers do, it's like you set up a camera and then you're just like, all right, guys. It's, it's definitely not as exciting as they make it out to be. Um, it's like what I say about TV show sets or movie sets. It's like, if you want to experience what a movie set or a TV show set is like, go to Home Depot. Yeah, yeah my that way, is, but sit there for six is, hours. Sit there for six hours, get a chair, sit there for six hours. You don't have good service though. So you're just gonna <laughs> yeah. have to sit there. Oh yeah. my um, God. You that's can ask really where Crafty funny. is, they're not gonna really be able to direct you to where it is. <laughs> that's uh, so funny. And that's what it's like. But same with being a YouTuber. And most YouTubers oh YouTube just from home in their bedroom and are just set up a camera and then they're just like, hey guys, so here I am today doing this. And then and cut. then as and soon as they're their... done, they get back in their sweats and curl up and go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> what is the most accurate thing here, though, is the fact that VidCon is haunted, and if you go there, you, there it, is a chance that you're taken. There is a vengeful <laughs> spirit. There is a vengeful spirit, um, and that's just the um, yeah. uh, dramatic chipmunk. Yeah. The, Hopefully, we can make another movie of our own one day. Go smosh the two V. Into TikTok. <laughs> Smosh the two B. Two V, like it's two. Two V. Smosh the two V. And it's Ew. about us getting a TV show. Yeah. Oh. Um, and you know we talked about how many calories it takes to write a hate comment. Well, it takes less to go to Smosh.com and check out the merch we've got. We got one of these. I cropped it myself, but we've got lots of good, lots of comfy stuff. I don't know if this is still available. Uh, we got some weird, cool we got a stuff lot of like good this stuff. We got coming pins. out we got limited all the time. Stuff. Look for it and pins. It's Pop socket shirts, beanies. Good stuff. 